Hey everybody, it's Kim here again, and welcome to part 3 of doing perspective guides in Harmony Premium. We've taken a look at the one point and two point perspectives, now I'm going to be showing you guys how the three point perspective works. Again, you can see in my scene I've added a color card with a white color to it. And just to reiterate, you can draw with your guides in your drawing tab or your camera. Here is my guides window, again you guys can add this with your plus button or from your windows drop down. And I've got a three point perspective already placed in the scene, you add it here from your plus drop down menu. I'm going to specifically be doing a bird's eye view three point perspective, but there's two here that you can pick from, the bird's eye or the worm's eye view. I'm going to go with a bird's eye for the drawing that I'm going to be doing. And just like with the previous videos, these all work the same for the three point perspective as they do for the other perspectives. So here are our bird's eye view guides. Because it's a three point perspective, it has three vanishing points instead of just two or one. And this also means that one of these points is left kind of out in the open. It's not connected to our horizon. You've got two vanishing points that are connected to the horizon. When you move one, it rotates the horizon in relationship to the other one. So this creates your two point perspective in the scene. And this third point basically changes the perspective to bird's eye or worm's eye. So if it's below the horizon line, you have a bird's eye view. If you drag this above, it will become a worm's eye view. But you don't have to go and move this above the horizon line if you want a worm's eye view, because we already have one of those available for you immediately. So just like all the other perspective guides, all you have to do to edit this one is move your points around to find the perspective you want to work with. And just like the other perspective guides, all of these buttons work the same way on this one as they do for the others. So I've done a sketch of some rooftops in bird's eye view three point perspective. And using my guides, I'm going to go ahead and neaten this one up so that you can see what you can accomplish with your three point perspective guides. So I'll see you soon. I'm back and I've done my neat sketch with my three point perspective bird's eye view guides and I've got a little rooftop thing going on over here and that's it. That's what you can do with your three point perspective guides. I hope this helped you guys out and that you enjoyed it. 